The goal of gene therapy is to slow down or stabilize the progression of a specific disease, such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. We'll talk more about how gene therapy may work, but to do that, first, we need to understand the role proteins play in our bodies. Proteins do important jobs inside our muscles. They are the building blocks of how we function. Sometimes, a person may have an altered gene, which means their body may not make enough of a particular protein. When this happens, the protein cannot do its job correctly and our bodies may not function properly. This is where scientists investigating gene therapy come in. Gene therapy is designed to introduce a healthy gene into a person in order to make a new protein that was previously missing or not working well. Gene therapy is made of three components. The transgene, which aims to produce a functioning version of the protein of interest. The vector, whose job is to deliver the transgene to the targeted cells in the body. And the promoter, which makes sure that the protein is made or replicated. Together, these three parts of gene therapy are intended to slow or stabilize disease. Scientists are testing to see if the new protein starts doing a job that wasn't previously there. Even though all gene therapies use a vector, a promoter, and a transgene, they are not all the same. The vector, promoter, and transgene may differ across gene therapies, even if they aim to treat the same disease. The choice of the vector, promoter, and transgene may impact safety and how well the gene therapy works. For more information about the goal of gene therapy, reach out to our patient advocacy team by emailing advocacy at sarepta.com and be sure to visit duchenne.com to sign up to receive updates and access additional Duchenne resources.